Hey you guys, so I am back with a new video. So I figured since I showed you guys all of my deep conditioners, I might get back on cam girl and show y'all my leave-in conditioners. I'm glad I did this y'all, cause some of the stuff I went through, I was like, why in the Sam Hill do I still have you? You ain't done nothing for me. You need to leave. I'm talking to my products, right? So we're gonna just go through and much like the other video, I'm gonna show y'all my top five leave-in conditioners, moisturizers, it is what it is. And much like the previous video, I will be letting y'all know, please check out the description box. I'm gonna be putting a lot of information in there. Now, I'm not gonna be going through and be putting price points, but I will say, I'm looking at everything in front of me, I have a video on 90% of the items or products I'm gonna be showing y'all. Let's go ahead and get started because there's like 20 products in front of me. We're not gonna go into a, a lot, but we're gonna share a little bit about each one. First up, we have the Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioner Intense Moisture. This is from the men's collection. There it go. I was, I was on the fence about this for a while, um, <laughs> purchasing it, because I'm like, it's for men. What the hell are you doing? But I bought it anyway. Um, it has this strong, manly fragrance to it, and I don't use it anymore. I use this on JB's hair. Like I told y'all in the, in the review, he could be walking around smelling like he's 50 years old. And so I use this every now and then on his hair. I don't see anything great about this product. It has caffeine and hemp seed oil in it, so I guess it helps with growth and moisture retention. I don't know, girl, so can too leave-in conditioner men's collection now an oldie but goodie which i don't know if they changed the formula on this or what because it's not giving me the same effect is the can to shea butter leave-in conditioning repair cream this was my go-to for like three or four years when i first went natural before i discovered all the other foolery here on my table but I still use this y'all it's a very affordable product you can get it nearly everywhere locally and so yeah um it's a great creamy leave-in i used to always love to pair this with the echo styler gel um when i had a twa that is a teeny weeny afro you guys those of you who don't know i've been natural this will be my 11th year and um i shaved my head to go natural so when i tell you i like i literally shaved my head I had a buzz cut, like, yeah. So anyway, I will use this while my hair was growing out along with the Echo Stylo Gel um, to help with my curls. Moving right along, we have the TGIN Buttercream Daily Moisturizer. Now this product is a very sticky, let me see if I can get a little bit out, I don't have a lot here. It's a very sticky, um, I don't wanna say gummy, but it's a thick, sticky type of consistency and i know a lot of people who don't care for this particular uh leave-in conditioner it claims to be sorry something came down it came, claims to be a daily moisturizer but when you pair it with her other products it works okay it really does it works okay it does what it is intended to do when you pair it with the other products okay we have african pride's hydrate and strengthen leave-in conditioner okay um I have reviewed this one too, along with several other um, products from the African Pride Moisture Miracle Collect Collection. Now, recently I used the leave-in cream. Did I use the leave-in cream or the actual styler to pre-pull my hair or det to detangle? And girl, it worked. Yeah, to the point to where I would prefer to use this product as a detangler or as a pre-pull. Smells really good. Everything from the collection smells great, but my favorite is the pre-poo. The Moisture Miracle Leave-In Cream. Um, so next, you guys, we have the Texture ID Daily Moisturizing Cream um, made with sweet almond oil and honey yogurt extract. This is from the Coils line. I think they tried to target this line for a certain type of curl, curl pattern. And again, the Texture ID. I have not used this product at all in a while. Let's see what, girl. It's okay. Um, I think I purchased this along with their mousse. And it's all right. I've only used this once. Yeah, only once, so. <laughs> 
uh moving right along from the lotta body we have the lotta body curl and style milk love this stuff i have several containers of this very very affordable under five dollars along with the lotta body we have their milk honey nourish me leave-in conditioner this is just okay if i had to choose between these two it would be this one this is just okay i love to use this with their mousse um pair it up for um a perm rot set a rot set or even just with a banging or a twist out or braid out so i really highly recommend this this is also protein free okay so next up um we have the Cryo Botanicals Low Porosity Leave-In Conditioner Protein Free. I like Cryo Botanicals um, products and this for, is from their low porosity or from her low porosity line. I used almost all this up. Mmm, it smells so good. It has a pH of 4.5 made with veggies, herbs, protein free yeah if you have not checked out her products please do again and this cryo let me turn it this way cryo botanical botanicals girl pronounce it right keep it along um the small business owners kinky tresses avocado infusion hair milk i've been using this stuff now she is someone who i order from frequently um that styler that she has she has like a hair butter it's a y'all the camera keeps zooming on my face her styler is one of the best stylers i've used but this um avocado hair milk is the bomb very very creamy i love the pump you can see what it looks like right here look at that yeah i'm, I'm putting some of this stuff in my hair so yes this is bomb let me put some in my hair girl mm, yeah Next up, we have the main choice, soft as can be, three and one, revitalize and refresh conditioner. I got this from Sally's a while back, actually. Sorry, y'all. I got this from Sally's a while back um, by the main choice. Now, her products can be a little up there, but they work. They really do. Okay, keeping with some high ass end products, we have Adawa Beauty, her um, Bail Mint Leave-In Styling conditioner love this stuff i know i haven't formally reviewed it but i really do like this stuff y'all really do like it next up we have the olive oil ors um moisturizing hair milk infused with castor oil i like this stuff don't necessarily love it i like it because it's very affordable and i can grab it really quick and i like that it's a thick it's really thick actually you gotta girl stop it you got to shake it a few times to get it out yeah it's a very very thick leave-in though okay cream of nature's argan oil from morocco moisture recovery leave-in curl milk now this stuff y'all the fragrance is a little hmm whew, very perfumey um but this particular leave-in curl milk pairs really well with the other products from this particular line again it is the argan oil moisture recovery leave-in curl milk okay next up a product that i have not used a lot but it actually does work is blue magic's argan oil herbal complex it has this like purple consistency it's a little runny yeah, it's a little runny, but it's a very lightweight leave-in conditioner. And it actually works really well, actually, y'all. I don't know. I don't know why I haven't used it since, but yeah, it, it does really good. Um, now these two products I'm gonna show you right now. Um, they showed up to the party. They were not officially invited, but since they showed up cute, I went ahead and let them in. But they better not show up again. So we have <laughs> Miel or Mayo pomegranate and honey leave-in conditioner regardless the situation and again she would not i will not be formally reviewing any more of her products but i will let you know this is a good leave-in conditioner the pomegranate and honey is a good the hawaiian ginger not so much it's from the hawaiian ginger moisturizing leave-in conditioner don't really care for for this one but this one i rock with this one but i'm not even purchasing anymore like i'm using up the last bit of those products and that's it you know girl 
You already, you can see what this, I don't even have to zoom in. You already know what it is. You know what it is? I have no idea. Look, when I was going through my products, baby, I'm like, what in the hell do I have your ass to, y'all excuse me. Um, Luster's Pink Oil Moisturizer. I think it works for some people. In all seriousness, if this works for you, kudos to you. I don't know why I'm still holding on to this. Um but it was at the bottom of my stash this does not work for me at all all right you guys so i have to move some stuff out the way <laughs> so next up we have the camille rose honey hydrate step one of the leaving collection i believe there were three products apart of the leaving collection now this is a very sticky it, it, like honey like it is like honey honey um leave-in conditioner and I find that I only use this when I'm wearing my hair in twists and I don't plan on unraveling. Like if I'm gonna be setting my hair in wearable twists, I like to use this product and it works really well for my hair, okay? Next up we have the Garnier Fructis Sleek and Shine Leave-in Conditioner Cream. Um, I actually did a comparison between this one and the, and the one in the yellow jar. Excuse me, I'm getting some stuff. The one in the yellow container, <clears throat> I be believe that's more of a, like a shea butter cream. I don't know. I can't remember what the verdict was, but I still purchased this one and I still use this on my hair because, again, it's a very affordable product and I can get it anywhere. And my hair does feel nice when I use it. All right, you guys, so now we have the Mish Lavish Leave-In Conditioner. Um, this for me was just okay. I used this along with her styling product. And yeah, I I guess for me personally, I expected more, but it was okay. Um, I personally would use this as a detangler to pre-pull my hair as opposed to a leave-in conditioner, okay? So the last two products you guys are gonna be showing you that I actually use as a leave-in are actually leave-in sprays. We have, and they're both by Jane Carter. We have the Jane Carter Solution Revitalized Leave-In Conditioner Spray. Love this stuff. Absolutely love, love, love this stuff, y'all. And I've been using this for a while. Also have her Quench Leave-In Spray. I know that's not zooming. I believe that these are very similar but if I were to choose one, I would use the Revitalize and Leave-In Conditioner. And it's top five for now, okay? For now, so things may change. Um, and so, how much I'm giving some of these products a side eye? Like, yeah, we it's down to top four that I'm using now. So first of all, we have the Kinky Tresses Avocado Infusion Hair Milk, she made it. We have the Lotta Body Moisture Me Curl and Style Milk, okay? And then we have the Adawa Beauty Vehement Leave-In Conditioning Cream. And lastly, we have the Jane Carter Revitalizing Leave-In Conditioner. So y'all, those are my products. Those are my fave out of this. Now, I'm still gonna keep everything besides this, girl. <laughs> she gonna go in the trash like today. But I'm gonna keep everything because I may need it. You know, you never know what's going to happen. I may, I may need to use all this stuff at some time in my life. So that is it, you guys. Let me know what is your favorite leave-in conditioner. Drop it down below in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching, y'all. Take care. Bye.